Hey guys, I wanted to go over um, Tesla's new announcement that was made just uh, about four days ago on October 20th where they mentioned that uh, Autopilot 2.0 is already shipping with all their cars built since uh, going forward on that day. So if you take a look at their um, website they display an impressive image of what the sensor suite uh, looks like and uh, there's uh, the existing ultrasonics um, and also the radar and also eight cameras that basically makes up the entire thing plus uh, something from NVIDIA which is called uh, PX2 uh, deep learning uh, hardware so with all this uh, makes the the car fully self-driving it's going to take a while for it to come to fruition so they are putting all this hardware in to i guess um capture uh data for their neural net Fr from the beginning it looks really really impressive but it actually isn't all that impressive when you start looking in or taking a deep dive into some of the components so let's do that so here's overview of what's there um, the rear view camera was there already but it wasn't part of the autopilot system so they really went from two cameras which is one in, in the front was which was used for autopilot the rear which wasn't used but now in a new system it will be so from a two camera system to a eight camera system. So in the front, they're gonna have three different cameras and uh, one for short range, which is 60 meters. There's the main one, which is 150 meters. And then there's a narrow forward camera, which actually sees further than their radar. Their radar is only at 160 meters. And then you have your um, the usual ultrasonics, but the ultrasonics uh, seem to have been doubled in uh, distance. So you get uh, eight meters instead of, I guess, the four that was before. And then you also have um, front side uh, looking cameras, two of them, and two rear uh, looking cameras also on the side. Here's the main detail of uh, what's included in the front three cameras. This is actually the only place where uh, they seem to have some sort of redundancy. So you have three cameras looking forward uh, as redundancy. Uh, but I'm not sure how it's going to work in terms of redundancy since um, cameras really don't, from what I understand, cameras don't really pick up distance unless they found some way to uh, figure out how to extrapolate distance from images. Uh, I don't think this is going to be um, redundant per se for, let's say, the radar failing. Radar and ultrasonics are the um, two pieces that actually um, see distance. So I'm not sure how this is going to play out since I don't see any type of redundancy that Elon talked about. Um, whenever he talks about fully autonomous systems, he always talks about um, redundancy. And uh, the CPU here, it, I don't think is redundant. Uh, true autonomous driving, where you could literally get in the car, go to sleep, and wake up at your destination. Um, but in order to do that, you have to have fully redundant systems. Everything's got to be redundant so that any one system breaking does not result in an accident. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's another single point of failure. So the forward-looking cameras on the side look like this, and they are on the B pillar. I'll uh, put up a picture of how it actually looks like on a B pillar. The rear-facing cameras, they are actually in that uh, the side blinker. and they they look rearwards and then you have your uh, rear view camera which is already in the tesla today 
but not part of the autopilot system. But now they're going to make it part of the autopilot system. But it's really not really for autopilot. It's really for parking. And then they have the radar, which is the same radar that they have in today's system. Uh, the ultrasonic sensors, the same amount of ultrasonic sensors, but they've increased the sensitivity and range by t two times. And then the processor that they're talking about is actually the NVIDIA um, PX2, which surprisingly is not a proprietary uh, hardware. It's uh, NVIDIA has been working with many other manufacturers on um, prototyping fully autonomous uh, cars. So I don't know how Tesla will gain an advantage uh, over the others if everyone's using the same um, same processing engine. The only difference is what you're going to choose in terms of sensors and uh, your neural net is pretty much the same as well. So uh, I'm not sure how the tes how Tesla will have advantage. Here's the uh, picture of the front camera housing, and it has the uh, the near, uh, mid, and also a narrow uh, field of view. And I'm not sure exactly how this is going to be redundant. Um, again, I don't I don't know enough about this uh, to say whether or not they or Tesla have figured out a way to use cameras to judge distance. It may be it may very well be possible, but uh, today I don't know of any way that that is possible. From my point of view, there is no redundancy in this system. This is the confirmation that. Uh, Tesla is using the NVIDIA Drive PX2 technology. You can go and uh, take a look at the blog if you want. Here are uh, the two options. This is in US prices. So Enhanced Autopilot basically just enables four cameras, which is basically the f uh, forward three cameras and the rear uh, parking camera. It does not enable the side, uh, the four side cameras. So for full full self-driving capability, they basically enable the other four cameras. So for uh, $5,000, you can get what they call Autopilot Plus or Enhanced Autopilot, which is not full uh, autonomy. Uh, so for $5,000, you can get uh, Enhanced Autopilot, but it's not full autonomous. Uh, additional three thousand dollars you can get full autonomy and all it entails is enabling the four other cameras which are the side uh, looking cameras i don't see how this can i guess uh yeah it's uh, perplexing to me that uh four extra cameras is all it takes to take um uh, the system to full autonomy uh, it's the same exact hardware, meaning that the the CPU is the same as the NVIDIA uh, uh, PX2. And um, here's something that is very interesting. Uh, it basically says that um, it basically says that uh, you can uh, use a self-driving Tesla car sharing and ride hailing for friends and family, but Doing so for revenue purpose will only be permissible on the Tesla network. So it looks like Tesla um, has been planning this for a while. Uber and and uh, Lyft uh, wanted to buy out the entire fleet if it was uh, fully autonomous. So Uber and Lyft wanted to screw their, their drivers. Um, they wanted to go full autonomous. But it looks like uh, Tesla is... Uh, way ahead of them and in I, I did see in the release uh, Uber and, and Lyft mentioned as the ride sharing uh, programs but it looks like they took it out after but uh, it basically is, is uh, Tesla's way of saying uh, F you to Uber and Lyft so they, they're gonna basically take over once um, full autonomy is out what can you use this system for? Um, they mentioned that uh, 
you can get in the car and sleep and arrive at your destination. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that uh, in a car that has no redundancy. I I wouldn't feel comfortable in a car, getting into a car and God forbid some some uh, sensor fails, then you know <laughs> you're screwed. But uh, I don't know enough about this, and Tesla hasn't released enough information about this to state that there is some sort of redundancy. So don't know. So uh, from all the interviews with Elon, I've always heard him mention. Uh, full autonomy to be an order of magnitude better, but it looks like they've uh, moved that slightly down to two times better than than humans or average human driving, which isn't saying much because the average human driver probably sucks. <laughs> it doesn't take too much to uh, be better than the average human driver. But they also have a video that's um, detailing how you can. Uh, use your car, have it drop it off, drop you off at a location, and then the car goes and parks. But uh, I don't see how this works in the city because in the city, you have um, you have at least in New York City, you have parking meters that you have to go out physically get the parking ticket and then put it on your dashboard. So I'm not sure how this. Would work in the city. It really is for more like for um, rural areas or sub uh, suburban areas where parking is free and parking is abundant. But if you were to try this in the city, where sometimes you see four or five signs uh, detailing when and where you can park, whether it's commercial or not, and blah blah blah, all that crap. I don't see how this is gonna work. They also mentioned that you can summon your car all the way from LA to to uh, New York, and uh, they're gonna be putting in these snake robotic chargers. And yeah, I don't really know how that's gonna work either. Um, whether they're gonna start putting these uh, robotic chargers in place uh, anytime soon, uh, I haven't seen one yet. Uh, a few years is a long way from now, so how's the robotic arm going to address these iced superchargers? We'll see. We'll take a, um, a backseat to this and see what uh, Tesla decides to release in terms of information on uh, redundancy. I, I really was disappointed with the announcement and that nobody from the media brought up whether this system is redundant or not, and how safe would it be, uh, and how in certain situations this this thing, this autonomous mode doesn't work, and that's just w one example I gave. There's plenty of examples out there. Um, so that's my thoughts on on the system. So and I will do another. I'll do a separate video on analyzing their. A demo video, which is they which they put out. This one, I'll do a separate video about that because that there's some uh, weird things in that video that I want to point out. So anyway, uh, thanks for listening to my rant, and uh, until next time, thanks. Like and subscribe.